let's talk about cinema lenses. More specifically, let's talk about vintage photographic lenses that have been converted to cinema lenses, which, believe it or not, is very easy to do. To start off, I bought this lens off of eBay for, I think it was like $20, $30 very cheap um, uses an M42 mount screw mount very old style and the nice thing is you can get a very cheap adapter I use uh, Canon EF mount the adapters I think are like ten dollars each so I just buy an adapter for each lens I buy screw it on and leave it on now, now I've converted this vintage lens to a, a, a Canon EF mount. On the other side, I put an adapter ring I put it on all of my converted lenses. so that they all have the same adapter ring on them and then the adapter ring fits this turn it upside down and the adapter ring fits this filter holder it'll hold uh, two filters square filters I can uh, put in uh, ND filters, polarizing filters, uh, graduated filters, whatever, whatever trips my trigger at the time. Put this on the camera. I had uh, I had these rings 3D printed and uh, put them on the focus ring, and now I can use it with a follow focus. So I mount my camera on a rail with a follow focus, put the lens on there, and I've got a nice cinema lens. And the reason that I went with vintage lenses is because I really like the unique look you can get through get from an old vintage lens. Um, something you can't get with a lot of the newer lenses. It's just a, a different style, and it's just a personal choice. I mean, you either love it or you don't. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna out there are gonna think, yeah, you don't need a you don't need a square filter holder on there. Just put on a put on a screw on filter, or a circular polarizer, or circular ND filter. Well, I decided to go with the square filters. It's a personal choice. Don't hate. I can use whatever I want. Now the. Uh, one thing that I haven't done yet is de-click the aperture ring. The uh, photo lenses come with a, a little, little tiny ball bearing inside that uh, causes a stop at each of the aperture settings. On a real cinema lens, there's no clicking, there's no stop. You just, it, it turns smoothly through the range of the aperture from the widest open to the clo to a closed aperture. On a real cinema lens, there is no clicking. It just, it turns smoothly from the lowest aperture to the highest. When you're filming and you're transitioning from a dark room, like say through a doorway into the outdoors, you can adjust the aperture smoothly and keep your uh, um, keep your exposure set. The only way to do that on these old lenses is you have to take them apart and take that little ball bearing out. So. We're going to try that on this one here.
take off the cap, pull off my EF adapter. I need to see what I'm doing for this. And I have to find the little screws, tiny little screws, to pull off the rear mounting plate. We're going to need a very, very tiny screwdriver for this. These things are so tiny. Just trying to get the screws out is the hardest part. Damn, these are some tiny screws. Feels like it's turning. Well, shit! It didn't turn. I just I just stripped out the head of the screw. Now, how the hell am I supposed to get it out? Frick! Yeah, there's only one thing left to do. escalated quickly. Don't do that. Do not try this at home. Well, on the rest of them, I think I'm not going to de-click them. I don't think that's, I think that's something that's not in my wheelhouse. I'll either find somebody who can do it, or I'll just deal with them with the click. Okay. I think I'm going to go cry for a little while now. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and you'll see more of me acting stupid. Okay, I didn't really break my lens with a hammer, as far as you know. But seriously, why did they ever put uh, clicking on photographic lenses, but not cinema lenses? I mean, did they think that photographers were so stupid that uh, we couldn't line up the aperture dial with the little pointer on the on the lens that we couldn't read the numbers and line them up to the little mark on the lens I don't know it just seems dumb I don't think any of them I don't see any reason for them to have been you know clicked clicked in the first place but that's what they are so we have to deal with it but no I did not break my lens and now I have to go get get online go to eBay and look for something totally unrelated thank you